Hello everybody, I'm David Waite from Jubilee College and I've been doing a series of hand reflexology videos so today we're going to do something different, hence the feet. When I do a reflexology treatment, sometimes I like to do a gorgeous, relaxing treatment and send my client into a, a beautiful place of bliss and harmony and uh, total relaxation. Other times though, I like to do a more vigorous treatment uh, to wake the feet reflexes up, wake the feet up um, and send the client away energized. And so my thought was, is that I want to have two different ways to close the, re the uh, treatment off. And of course, with a nice calming reflexology treatment, you would do a traditional sort of warm down uh, where it would be soothing, sweeps, um, gorgeous and relaxing. But when I've done an energizing reflexology treatment, I'm wanting to invigorate. I'm wanting to send the client away with their feet kind of zinging. So I don't want to soothe and I don't want to sweep. I want to do something rather different. And this takes me back where I got my inspiration for this was when I did a ART reflexology course with the wonderful Tony Porter. When Tony would do a demonstration, he'd show what he was going to do, and then he would finish um, on the client's foot with a gentle, there you go then, and it would be time for us to go and demonstrate, uh, sorry, not demonstrate, but follow the demonstration and for us to replicate what we had seen. And Tony also uh, used to speak, uh, probably still does, of a film that he had watched, which was called Hang the Red Lantern. And it was uh, about this concubine uh, that had got married to a very rich Chinese man. But part of living in this house was if you were the chosen concubine uh, to spend the night with that man, you would get a tapotement treatment uh, before the man came. And this was where hammers were used. And the idea was is that it would energize the feet well, this all got me thinking, and I was thinking I could perhaps do something a little bit different and follow this principle. And so many thanks to Tony um, for allowing me to put this video together, and I'm showing you my development of this topotement technique. So what we're going to do, we're going to have the feet, first of all, just as they are, and we're going to push chi into the solar plexus reflex. That's how I call it anyway. And so I'm going to use the back of my fist. You want to have a very, very wobbly wrist for this. And you're gonna be using just the flat of the fist like this. And it's going to be onto the feet. So we're gonna start with the solar plexus, but we actually work all over the feet with this technique. So I'm gonna show some different ones. We're gonna start at this angle, and then I'm gonna have the camera shooting over my shoulder so you can see this better. Now, ideally, it's going to be that kind of speed all the way through. If you can't do this two hands at once, don't worry, it's absolutely fine. And you can literally just start with one foot at a time and you could support the other foot, that's fine too. And it could just be. And then on the other foot. The secret is, is the flexible wrist and hitting with this back of your hand. I'm not making a fist and punching, it is just a wobble, 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 wobble with your, or a flex, flex, flex with your wrist. So I'm just gonna do this now with you looking over my shoulder. So here we go. We're going to first of all start with solar plexus and then we're gonna work up a little bit, full on to the lungs and then all the way down the abdomen and into the reflexes of the heel. So here we go.
onto the lungs, back to the solar plexus, onto the digestive system, and onto the reflexes of the heel. We're then going to work the side of the foot. So this is going to be the urinary bladder meridian and spleen six meridian. And then plenty of time onto the reproductive reflexes. We're wanting to charge this area. There's a lot of energy in this area. Again, now onto the other foot, same reflexes, same meridians, urinary bladder meridian, spleen six, and then plenty of time on the reproductive reflexes. Now we're on to the breast and uh, lymphatics. And again, just as we did with the spleen six and urinary bladder meridians, with an open hand, we're going to be doing the same on this area here. So, and then going down, back up, down, back up, and then seamlessly onto the other foot. And then finishing back onto the solar plexus. And hopefully you can see from this angle that I'm pushing up into the solar plexus. So as you have seen from that, it's quite a short uh, closing sequence. It's invigorating and it really sends the client away, um, beautifully woken up. Um, clients say that they feel like they're walking on fresh air uh, when this has been done. They can feel that the reflexes have really been activated as well. They stay activated. You haven't sedated them. And so there may be many occasions when you might be thinking, oh, this could be quite interesting. Let's try this, see what the clients think. And if they do enjoy it, do let me know. So thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this, do subscribe, do like uh, on the uh, YouTube buttons, which are just below you. And I look forward to seeing you again. Mm -hmm.